hello Noemi. Hello, good evening, Noemi. How are you today? Hello, hello. How's everything? Good night. Everything good. So I think we are going to start. Well, not right now, right? But uh, we're gonna wait for you for your classmates today. So I'm going to start reading um, the things, right? So we have uh, almost like in six minutes we're gonna start. Okay, so because I need to make different things. Welcome to the online English program, uh, pre-intermediate module two. So we have uh, the date here because yesterday we didn't have classes, so we have to reschedule. And so today we're going to have uh, the class. So the session number four, uh, November 3rd, 2023, as you can see here, right? Okay, so we're gonna continue. General information, uh, my name, schedule Monday, Monday, from Monday to Thursday, from 7 p.m. to 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Uh, we have a <clears throat> virtual classes. Then we have uh, the agenda, right? For today, for the fourth day, November 3rd, 2023, we have uh, from 6.50 to 7, we have the greeting, welcome, and general instructions. From seven to uh, quarter after seven, we have a review, warm up letters, and a snapshot. From uh, quarter after seven to 7.30, we have a conversation and grammar focus, okay? Uh, and then you have a, <clears throat> then we have a, from 7.30 to 7.40, we have a attendance, vocabulary, and, fre and frequency adverts. From, and then we have uh, the platform exercise, a feedback. And at the end, we have uh, from five to eight to eight o'clock, we have the closing and five minutes for advice. If you have any question with the platforms, in the doubt. <clears throat> okay, so I'm answering to one of your classmates in the, in the chat. Okay, so we're gonna continue. We have uh, the general objective that we already have read uh, read it, read it in the last uh, sessions, right? So the specific objective that is asking for and getting information about simple pressing activities, talking about frequency, frequency adverse, snapshot, and grammar focus, complete some grammar exercise in the platform, and identify activities in familiar scenarios and practice model guides, model dialogues also for creating personal conversations. Then we have. <clears throat> Uh, what are we doing today? So today's objectives. We have our participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about simple present. Uh, the second objective for today, participants will be able to practice frequency adverts and creative conversations based in the model. Complete reading exercise and listening. <clears throat> and the third objective for today is repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercises in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned, okay? So we have uh, this, uh, the word math. The last class we studied this question, right? How often do you, right? We um, discuss in person this, this, these questions. Hello, Ruth, hello, Noemi. Good night. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Okay, fine, thank you. So what do you remember about the Wednesday's class? ¿Qué recuerda de la clase del miércoles, por favor? Um, how, often do you, how often do you travel? Uh -huh. uh, yes. Frequency words? Uh -huh, yes, frequency words, yes, ex excellent. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you so much. Okay. Hi, Ruth Abigail. How are you? 
Hi, teacher. Hello, I'm how fine. are you? It's not cold. It's not cold there in, in your, where you live. Hello, Is... Robert. Uh, yes, Nomi. No, yo no he hablado, teacher. Ah, okay. Hello, uh, teacher. Uh, uh, hello, Robert. How are you? Mm, I'm fine. And how are you today? Fine. Everything good so far. Here working. <laughs> Because we, okay. yes, because we we born um intelligent but no but no millionaires. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So uh, nice. You have the reason. Yeah. Okay. So uh, here we have uh, some questions about the the manual. So in this manual, so you have a definite spoke. So uh, let me see. Um, quiero ver quién. Y ya empezó a llover. Believe it or not, it starts to rain. Okay, hello, Majo. So, the number one, uh, no sé si Ruth Abigail me ayuda a leer la number one. Se ve. Sí. Do you have a regular fitness pro program? Mm -hmm. How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise, right? Okay, excellent, very good. The number two, uh, no sé si, uh, can you help me to read, please, Noemi? Yes. Do you ever go to a gym? How often do you go? What do you what do you do there? What do you do there, right? The number three, uh Ruth. No sé si me ayuda, Ruth. Uh, can you read the number three? Okay. Do you play any sport? Which ones? How often do you play team? Excellent, very good. Okay, the number four. No sé si me ayuda Rommel. Acaba de entrar Rommel. Can you help me with the number four, Romel? Yeah. Okay, teacher. Do you, ever four. Take, do you ever take long walk? Open. Where do you go? Excellent, very good. Where? Number five. Can you help me with the number five? Uh, El Angel. What else? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. What else do you to keep fit? What else do you do to keep fit? Do you have any question with this vocabulary? Questions no so question, far? teacher. No questions. Okay, now, do you have a regular fitness program? Uh, so what is the answer for this question? How do you answer this question? ¿Cómo le responde? Do you have a regular fitness program? It's no, a... I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Yes, I do or no, I don't, because it's a closed question, right? How often do you exercise? How do you answer the question, how often do you exercise? ¿Cómo le responde? Vamos a ver aquí. Eh, so, Glenda, if I ask you the question, <laughs> hello, if I ask you the question, how often do you exercise? ¿Cómo se respondería, más o menos? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes? How often do you I, 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 uh -huh. Me escucha. Yes, 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 Glenda. How often uh, is I I don't exercise? I never. Okay. I never exercise. Excellent. Excellent. Bravo. Okay. So do you ever go to a gym? Do you? Is open question or is closed question? Uh, to all of you. A todos, para todos. To all of you. Uh, how, uh, how do you answer do you ever go to a gym how do you answer do you ever go to a gym yes ¿Cómo respondemos? La number two do you ever go to a gym es pregunta cerrada así que la respondemos con with the same auxiliary in the question do 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 you yes, ever I go to do. Gym? Oh. No, uh -huh. I don't. Oh, no, I don't, right, Maria Jose? Uh, how sí, often do you... Yes, I do. Yes, I do, or no, I don't, because it's a, a closed question. It's a closed question, right? Porque es una pregunta cerrada con do. Respondemos con do. Yes, I do, no, I don't. Pero la de how often do you go, esa es una pregunta abierta. It's, a, it's an open question. So it's about frequency adverbs. How often do you go? I never go, I usually go, I sometimes go. What do you do there? I work out. What do you do there in at the gym? 
What do you do there at the gym? I usually work out, right? Yes. Okay, no problem, Stephanie. Oh, yes. Okay. Now the number three. Let's continue. Do you have any questions so far? Tiene preguntas hasta ahorita? Apaga la tele o no con el Questions? No questions. Now, in the number three, do you play any sports? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Because you are using the auxiliary do. Which ones? Cuáles? I don't play sports or I play basketball, I play soccer. How often do you play them? I, I, uh, some, I, what? I sometimes play soccer, right? I usually play soccer and so on. Okay, now the number four. Can you ask the question number four? Uh, let's see who. La, vamos con la number, number four. Uh, Lucia, can you ask the question number four to uh, Rommel? Uh, do you ever take long walks? How often where do you go? Uh -huh. Do you Roman? ever take long walks? Caminatas largas? Rommel, mm -hmm. do you take? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, okay. No, I don't, right? If you answer with a short answer, uh, no, I don't. So, I, hasta ahí llega la pregunta, ¿verdad? So, um, now the number... Okay, so what else do you keep, do you do to keep fit? ¿Qué más haces para mantenerte en forma? The number five. So, the number five. Um, no sé si Elizabeth Pineda, can you ask the question number five to Roberto Carlos? Please. What is do you do to keep to keep fit? Uh -huh. To Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Are you available to answer, Robert? Hello. 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 Uh, what else do you do to keep fit? Oh, you don't. Si no me equivoco, está preguntando qué más hago para mantenerme. Yes. En exactly. forma. ¿verdad? Yes, yes, Robert. Mm, okay. I. No recuerdo la palabra. I run. I run. A job. Trot, trotar. Trot. A job. Okay. Trot. I jog during the morning. Okay, in the morning. Excellent. Very good. Yes. I try. In my case, personally, personally, I try not to eat. I try not to eat okay. a lot. Okay, so we're going to continue with that conversation because uh, this unit has a lot of, has this listening, has, uh, well, this question we already practiced, right? Uh, now, so we have uh, this conversation. We are going to listen this conversation, yes? Okay, um, well, right now I would like you to just listen in, listen, listen. And don't see, don't see at the conversation because you're gonna retell me what you listen. Okay, so give me a second. So I'm looking for the track. Give me a second, please. Okay, listening, listening conversation. Here you go. Part A, right? I think it's this. is 10 conversation listen, only listen i'm a real fitness freak part a listen and practice only listen you're in great shape keith thanks i guess i'm a real fitness freak how often do you work out well i do aerobics twice a week and i play tennis every week tennis that sounds like a lot of fun okay what did you listen what, what word did you listen? Any word, any expression? ¿Qué escuchó? O lo, o lo repito. Re repeat, please. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat the, the audio. Wait, give me a second. I am plugging the, the computer. <laughs> if no, it's going to turn it off. Okay, give me a second. Here we go. Exercise 10, conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. Part A. Listen and practice. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, 
and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Okay, what did you listen? Any word, any expression? What, what, what did you listen? Something, whatever. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué escuchó? Vamos a, I'm, I'm going to choose a person. <laughs> because... Uh, dice, dice que juega tenis no muy bien, dice she, ella. No sé cómo se llama. She, no entiendo. She plays, she plays, Lucía, repeat that for me. She plays tennis. She plays tennis. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Lucía. Very good. Okay. What else did you listen? Uh, Maria Jose Torres? <laughs> yes, yes, Maria. Hello, Maria. Okay. Hello, hello. She played she play tennis. Um... Uh -huh. Ella juega tenis. She plays tennis. She plays tennis. Okay, excellent. Very good. Uh, something else you listen? Uh, let me see. Ruth Abigail Caballero? Or, or no, no le escucho. Um, I play tennis and not very good. She, she plays tennis. She plays tennis, right? Okay, she plays tennis. Very good. Okay. He's not good at it. He's not good at it. Now listen. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, so now listen the conversation. Now look and listen. Can you see it? Okay. Conversation, right? I'm a real fitness freak. I'm a real fitness freak. Now listen, and you can see the 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 the, the screen, right? You can see the screen. Uh, listen and read the conversation. Page 39, exercise 10, conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. Part A, listen and practice. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, so what happened in the conversation? Let me see who. Uh, hello, uh, I don't know if Jessica Lisset Campos, escucho algo. Did you listen something about the conversation? No. Hello, Jessica. Hello, teacher. Is it's okay? Uh huh. How well do you play? Okay, excellent. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, Manuel, did you listen something in the conversation? What is the conversation about? Uh, he plays tennis every week. He plays tennis every week. Excellent. Now, now, so a real a fitness freak, thank you so much. A fitness freak is a person who is crazy for sports, right? Like, like he is a, re, a real fitness freak. He's a fitness freak because he's in shape, he practices sports and so on. So uh, listen to the pronunciation. You are in great shape, Cave. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Mm, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Okay, no problem. I'll give you a few tips. Now, workout. What is the meaning of the workout? Do you remember? Do you remember what is the meaning of the workout? This one, workout. Do you remember what is the meaning of workout or not? Ejercicio físico. Uh -huh. um, yes. Yes, yes. Practice exercise at the gym. Work at the gym. Practice exercise at the gym is workout. Okay. Do you have more questions with vocabulary or something about pronunciation? ¿Tienes preguntas con el vocabulario o la pronunciación? Questions so far? Dios, qué buena pregunta, maestro. Te quedan muy pocos personajes. Parece una sesión de la misma buena pregunta, ya que si no, 
No questions. No questions so far? Yes. Me va a preguntar algo, eh, Lucía. Creo que es Lucía, ¿verdad? That, that song. Ah, sorry. That sounds, what is the meaning? Ah, that sounds. That, that sounds, sounds significa... That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, eso suena como bastante divertido. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Suena divertido. Sounds, sounds like sounds. a lot of fun. Como tenemos la T entre las dos O, a lot of, a lot of fun, ¿ok? A lot of fun, ok. Ok, okay so we are going to work out. So you have a, this one about the grammar focus. Question with how and short answers. How often do you work out? ¿Qué dijimos que era work out? <clears throat> uh -huh. Work out is to... Entrenamiento. To... To practice, right? To practice sports, to practice sports of the of the gym, right? To practice sport of the gym. Okay. So okay, uh, every day. So you can answer with uh, uh, frequency others, or you can answer with these words: every day, twice a week, not very often, right? Every day, twice a week, not very often. How often do you work out? How often do you exercise? Every day, twice a week. Once a week, not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. How long? Cuánto tiempo? How often? Con qué frecuencia? How well? Que tan bien? How good? Que tan bueno eres en los deportes? How good are you at sports? How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Muy bueno, okay. Not so good, not tan bueno. How well do you play tennis? Que tan bien juegas? Tennis, pretty well. About average, not very well. Do you have any question with this vocabulary? Mm, yes, I have a question. Yes. Uh, what is the meaning of spend? Spend, spend at the gym. Spend is to take time, take time at the gym. How, how, uh, how long, how much time you uh, are at the gym. You are at the gym. You are. Uh, you spend. That that means that you pass. That you pass at the gym. Uh, is a synonym for. For example, imagine that I go. I go to the gym from seven to eight. So I spend one hour. Is clear. So so. <laughs> right. Okay. This one I spend is pasar tiempo. O gastar tiempo también, spend, gastar dinero, ¿verdad? Okay, this one we already completed. Uh, the, so we have uh, some, expressions, uh, some expressions here, right? A couch potato, a couch potato, like Garfield is a couch potato. A fitness freak is a person who is crazy for, a, for sport, for being in shape, okay? And then we have uh, the next one. Uh, so we have a, a, a sports nut. Now the sports now is a real fan, but it's not in shape. It's a real fan, but it's not in shape. Okay, es como un fanático, verdad? Pero no está en forma. No necesariamente tiene que estar en forma. A sports nut. And a gym rat is a muscular person. A gym rat is a muscular person. Do you have more question about this? Can, do you have any question, any doubts about these expressions or no? No questions. No? No questions? Okay, so uh, we're going to... Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering. Okay, now, so we are going to continue with this about the... We had, we had, we had a great time. Como tenemos la D entre dos, entre la vocal A y A, podemos pronunciarla como una letra R. We had a great time. We had a great time. Now, can you help me to read, please? The, can you help me to read? Uh, let's see. Sabuela Alejandro Alvarado. Can you help me to read this vocabulary, please? Are you available, Saul? Yes. Okay. Uh, this one. Oh, read, uh, watch TV. Spend time with family, mm -hmm. play sports, go to the gym, 
use the computer, go fishing, go to the movies. Ajá, go to the movies o go to the movies también, ¿verdad? Como está la T entre las dos vocales, go to the movies. Eh, do you have any question with vocabulary? Questions with vocabulary so far? Questions or no questions? Uh -huh. No, no questions. Okay, so we have uh, this other conversation. Did you do anything special? Did you do anything special? Now you're going to listen and you're gonna uh, don't don't look up the manual, please. No vea el manual todavía. Okay, so you're going to uh, listen this part of the conversation. Okay, so <laughs> now don't look up the manual. Give me a second. Quiero ver el audio. Uh, I think I don't have it. Okay. So, but it's okay. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, so, so you you're going to look up the grammar, okay? So, did you do anything special, right? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? So, what what did you do last weekend, Meg? So, oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Saturday, uh, how fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Okay, our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get, get an A, right? You always get an A. So, do you have any question with this vocabulary? Any questions so far? No questions. Now, listen one more time the conversation, the pronunciation. Uh, yes, the conversation, right? Okay, did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. <clears throat> I went to a karaoke bar uh, <clears throat> and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun, did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How, how about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Get an A, como la T está entre dos vocales, ¿verdad? Como tenemos esta T entre dos vocales, get an A, right? How about you? Esta como una, una R, how about you? How about you, right? Um, I had a great time, otra R, ¿eh? I had a great time, how about you? You always get an A, ¿ok? Uh, you're going to practice the, the, the what? The, the, I'm going to create breakup rooms, and you're going to practice the conversation. The conversation is in the WhatsApp. Yes. Teacher, uh, how do you read in, uh, our Spanish test is today? Uh huh. Yes, our Spanish, our test is today. A test is a new name for exam. Our. Igual a hora. Our. The same. The same like our. 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 Our, 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 our test is today. Our test is today. Yes. Now, I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms. Sure. Uh -huh. So, eh, breakup rooms. Let me see. Aquí solo me quedan dos. Vamos a ver. Hector Enrique, are you here? Hi, Hector. Hi. Hector. Okay, Hector and Lucia. No se van a ir, se quedan aquí, Hector and Lucia. De ahí los demás sí se van al breakup rooms. Hector and Lucia, don't go. Okay. The rest, you can go to the breakup rooms. Vamos a ver. Eh, para, para practicar la conversación, va. Para, for practicing the conversation. Y si alguien la puede proyectar ahí en su breakup room, mucho que mejor. But you already have it in WhatsApp. Ahí la tienen en WhatsApp. OK. So, eh, so Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza and Jessica Lizette Campos, you have to move to the room number one. Ahí donde dice join, únase. Miguel Ángel en Ruta Abigail se tiene que unir al room number two para practicar con Stephanie. Glenda Lisset, you have to move to the room number three. Oh, no sé, hay dos. 
Okay. Eh, Manuel Alexander, no sé si me va a quedar solo. Eh, vamos a ver, Héctor y Lucía se quedan. Roberto Carlos Cartagena, a Roma ya están. Ok, voy a enviar a Manuel. Manuel lo voy a mover al, al room 6, porque Glenda no sé. Ok, Manuel. Ya regresé. Teacher, ah, es vaya. que me sacó, mi inter está bien intermitente. Ah, vaya. ah pues este, no se vaya aquí. Ah, quiero ver. Ah, pues ahorita, ahorita. No problema, Glenda. Lo voy a, okay. la voy a, la voy a mandar. Ah, pues si quiere, quédese aquí. No hay problema. No hay problema. Ok. So, ok. Ahí están ya. Ok, sí, ya están. En el, ok. So, eh, Glenda, can you be Mac? Y Rick va a ser, ¿quién se quedó? Eh, Lucía. Lucía va a ser Rick. En Glenda, you're going to be Mac. It's okay? It's okay. Okay, empieza okay. Lucía. Okay. Uh, so what did you do last weekend, Mac? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lu Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at stayed home in studying for today's Spanish test. Mm -hmm. Or test or test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get a get a get a get a day. Get an A. Get an A. Get an A. Get an A. Excellent. Very good. Nice pronunciation. Okay. Uh, one of you can practice with Hector Enrique. Hector Enrique. Hello, Hector. Okay. Hector Enrique va a ser. Rick, o sea que él va a comenzar la conversación. Eh, no sé, eh, ¿una de las dos puede practicar con él, Lucía o Glenda? Eh, yo seguiría okay. después, teacher. Yes, yes ok. Ok, uh, uh, pues Héctor es Rick y Lucía es Meg. Oh, Ahorita. ¿cómo sé? O, okay. o después, o después quiere practicar. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Héctor, Enrique, Rick y Lucía, Meg. ¿Está bien? Please. Okay. Okay, empieza Hector. So, what do you last weekend make? Oh, I have a good time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Saturday. How long? Did, did you go, go to Loki's? No. We we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go any there? Anywhere? No. no, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Our this is today for for good about that don't worry you always get it. okay perfect excellent right i forgot i forgot about that i forgot about that <laughs> i forgot about that Ok, y en el Our Test estamos bien. Our Test. Our Test is yes, today. Our test. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. I forgot about that. Ok, uh, you already come back? Yes, everyone already come back. So, so you have a, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend, mate? I had a great time. I had a great time. I went to I, a karaoke. I, huh? I, I, had a, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar. Karaoke bar. And sat with some friends on Saturday. 
Puede decir Saturday porque la T es entre las dos vocales, ¿verdad? Saturday o Saturday también. Pero los gringos dicen Saturday. How fun did you go to Lachis? Did you go to Lachis? La T entre las dos o go to Lachis? No, we didn't. We went to that new place, downtown. Yes? Downtown. 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 El centro, ¿verdad? Downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. Uh, I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, question with vocabulary. Do you have any question with vocabulary so far? Que apaguen el audio donde está el perro. <laughs> okay, ya le voy a decir. <laughs> okay, so do you have more questions? No. Oh. <laughs> ¿Lo, ¿Lo practicaron? ¿O no, no lo practicaron? ¿Qué pasó ahí? Did you practice? Uh, yeah. ¿Se si fueron a los rooms? Did you practice? No. ¿Yes o no? Yeah. Okay, it's nice, very good. So we have uh, the simple class, right? We have uh, this part. Voy un poquito rápido porque, porque como la unidad, la primera unidad te, tenía bastante contenido. Entonces, este, para ya, porque ya esta semana tendríamos que terminar, bueno, ajá, como ayer no tuvimos clase, entonces se, se repuso este día. Entonces, ya para el jueves este, tendríamos que haber terminado la sección 1 y 2. Eh, entonces, este, por eso voy así como un poquito rápido. Ok, now, in the simple past. Did you work on Saturday, right? Did you work? It's a closed question. Esta es una pregunta eh, cerrada porque empieza con el auxiliary did. Now, in the auxiliary did, so, va a responder, hace la pregunta con did, and you answer with the same auxiliary, right? You answer with did. Did you yes, work sir. on Saturday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. See? ¿Sí? Lucia, what, do you want to say something? Do you answer algo? ¿Iba a decir algo? No, no, no más le estoy repitiendo. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. I worked, I worked all day. I worked all day. Uh, and then you have a, um, no, I didn't. I didn't work at all. I didn't work at all. ¿Verdad? El, donde usamos, uh, we use all the, the verse in past only in In only in uh, positive sentences. We use the verbs in past in positive sentence, in affirmative sentence. But in questions, in questions, we don't use the past of the verbs. Mire, like this. We, here we don't use, oops, no, 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 no lo agarra porque está la par. So here, for example, you don't use in work, ¿verdad? En este work, no lo, no, no lo ponemos en pasado por el auxiliar did. Pero usted me va a decir, pero la pregunta está en pasado. Ajá, pero la pregunta está en pasado, pero el verbo no va en pasado por el auxiliar did. Solo ponemos el verbo en pasado cuando son oraciones positivas. Así como aquí, ¿verdad? Work. Así como work all day. I work all day. Como la oración es positiva, lo ponemos el verbo en pasado. Pero en preguntas y en negativas, el verbo no va a ir en pasado, va a ir a su base form, va a ir en la forma base, ¿verdad? En preguntas y en negativas, por los auxiliares, el verbo va a ir como en presente, va a volver a la normalidad. No lo vamos a poner en pasado por los auxiliares did y por los auxiliares didn. Los verbos en, eh, en pasado solo los vamos a usar en oraciones positivas o afirmativas. ¿Es clear? ¿Está claro? Yes? Oh, is confused. <laughs> oh, you are confused. Eh, los verbos en pasado los vamos a usar, dijo, en negativas y positivas, nada más, ¿verdad? No, eh, los verbos en pasado los vamos a utilizar en oraciones positivas o oh, afirmativas. Oraciones positivas, ah, ok. Positivas o afirmativas, que es lo mismo. Okay. Pero eh, ya en las preguntas y en los negativos ya no, por los auxiliares di en didn't. Recuerde que el did no significa nada, ¿verdad? El did no significa nada, eh, es como poner aquí el signo de pregunta. No significa nada el did, pero eh, para que esta oración, esta pregunta, perdón, sea en, en pasado, tiene que llevar el did. 
Y pues este did nos da la idea de que este, este, este verbo va en pasado. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, you have a, did you go anywhere last weekend? ¿Fuiste a alguna parte el fin de semana pasado? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Como es, pre, empieza la pregunta con el did, podemos responder de manera corta, siempre con did, ¿verdad? Eh, so, uh, you can answer this. You can answer With short, with short answer, yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? Okay, but, y aquí, go. ¿Por qué no ponemos go en pasado si la pregunta está en pasado? ¿Ah? Porque, Porque lleva el auxiliar. auxiliar. For, the auxiliar for the auxiliary did, right? For the auxiliary did, go is in base form, right? It's in, like in present. Eh, la respuesta corta, yes, I did, no, I didn't. En este caso, que la pregunta empieza con did, Podemos utilizar las respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Pero si tuviéramos aquí, por ejemplo, how, aquí okay, how, did, make, aquí no es, no es pregunta cerrada, sino que es pregunta abierta, ¿verdad? Igual aquí, es pregunta abierta. ¿Qué hizo Rick el sábado? ¿Qué hizo Rick el sábado? Eh, entonces, aquí este primer did es el auxiliar de la pregunta, que no significa nada. Y este segundo do, es el, ¿cómo se llama? <coughs> es el verbo principal. Que Rick hizo el sábado. Sabemos que este hizo por el did. Entonces, esta es una pregunta abierta que dice, ¿qué hizo? No le podemos responder, yes, I did. O no, I didn't. O yes, he did. O no, he didn't. Porque está pidiendo más información. Entonces, ¿qué hizo Rick el sábado? Él se quedó en casa. He stayed home and studied for a test. He stayed home and studied for a test. Okay, how did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends, right? Okay, ¿está claro esto? ¿Es clear? Más o menos. Más o menos. So, so. Okay, y aquí tenemos los regular verbs. Okay, Para verbos en pasados hay de dos tipos. Verbos regulares, que son los verbos que terminan en ed. Y, te lo, y tenemos los verbos irregulares que solamente hay grupos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hay, los verbos irregulares es de aprendérselos de memoria y los eh, verbos eh, regulares, todos, todos van a terminar en ED. Pero esa ED tiene diferentes pronunciaciones, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de la última letra en que termina. Dependiendo en la última letra que termina, así va a ser la pronunciación del verbo regular. Estamos hablando de los verbos regulares, que son los verbos que terminan en ed. ¿Es clear? ¿Es clear o no clear? Hello. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver. Aquí tenemos los... Uh, let me show you this picture. Ahorita les muestro la imagen. Ahorita, permítanme. Quiero ver, la voy a descargar. Ok, here we go. Vale. So, for the ED pronunciation, para la pronunciación de la ED, tenemos, tenemos tres, tenemos, esta ED se puede pronunciar de tres maneras. Esto es para los verbos regulares, ¿verdad? For the regular verbs, we have a work, worked, invite, invited, study, study, stop, stopped. Entonces, pero ¿cómo vamos a saber cuándo se pronuncia de una manera y cuándo se pronuncia de otra? Es lo que les, estaba, lo que les quiero mostrar ahorita. Aquí está. Vaya, déjenme presentarles la imagen. Permítanme, just give me a second. Give me a sec. Just give me a sec. Aquí está. Here we go with the picture. Now, eh, can you see the picture? ¿Puede ver la imagen? The blue one. ¿La ven o no se ve? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, the ED pronunciation, right? ED pronunciation. Ok, ¿son los verbos regulares o los irregulares que terminan en ED? ¿Los regulares o irregular verbs? Regular. Regular. regular verbs, right? Entonces, esos verbos regulares que terminan en ED tienen tres pronunciaciones. El banco cuenta. Tienen tres pronunciaciones diferentes. Esa ED se puede pronunciar como id, como de, o como ch, como una T. Esa ED, esta ED que tiene aquí, usted la puede pensar como I, como D o como T. 
Pero ¿cómo va a saber usted cuándo se pronuncia cómo? Okay. Eh, yo le aconsejo que se aprenda esta regla de cuándo se pronuncia I y cuándo se pronuncia T. -t, 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 -t. Sabiendo estas dos reglas, usted va a saber que el resto de los verbos, va, se va, la ED se va a pronunciar como T. Si, por ejemplo, este eh, todo verbo que termina en all the verbs that ending with letter T, eh, all the verbs that ending with letter T, so you have, a, so you have a, for example, with letter T, started. No started, ¿verdad? No es started. Started. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo termina en T. Entonces, la ED va a ser ed, started, started. O también los verbos que terminan en D. Por ejemplo, en, terminar. En pasado terminé, I ended, I ended. O sea que esta ED, porque el verbo termina en T o el verbo termina en D, la ED se va a pronunciar ir, ¿verdad? Cuando el verbo termina en T o en D, se va a pronunciar ir, started, ended, y hay más ejemplos, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a este, the third rule. So, when you have a the letter, when you have a, cuando el verbo termina en letter P, jump, jumped, 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 no jumped, ¿verdad? Sino que jumped, jumped. Ahí le mandé esta imagen ahí al grupo. So, you have a, los verbos que terminan en K, walk, walk, walked, walked, walked. Tiene miss, extrañar o perder. Missed. No es missed, ¿verdad? No es walked, no es jumped, sino que jumped. Es walked. Missed. Tiene los verbos que terminan en CH. Y entonces sería eh, finished. Finished. ¿Ok? Eh, tiene finished. Tiene los que terminan en CH. Watch. Watch. Tiene watch. Y esta de se produce como una otra, una T extra. Watch. 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 Finish, finished, finish, finished. Como una T, como una T se pronuncia este D. Por ejemplo, laugh, laughed, laugh, laughed. ¿Ok? Porque termina en H. Y así tienen los demás que terminan en F, terminan en C, terminan en X. Igual, esa ED se pronuncia como una, una letra, una T, una extra T. Esta ED se pronuncia como una extra T. Y de allí todos los que, todos los que no termina, todo verbo que no termina en T o en D o en P, en K, en todas estas letras que les acabo de mencionar, van a este grupo. Todos los que no terminan en esa letra van, quedan en este grupo. Por ejemplo, quiero ver, uh, por ejemplo, mood. Mood termina en la letra E, pero usted no dice move, ¿verdad? No dice move, porque la E al final no se pronuncia. Cuando un verbo termina en E, entonces como la E es muda, la E no se pronuncia, usted se va a fijar en la letra antes de la E. Usted se va a, se va a fijar en la letra antes de la E muda. Si la letra, la letra antes de la E es, eh, es una P, una G, una M, una N, una R, a letter B, W, Y, o C, esta E D, entonces usted la va a pronunciar como como una eh, extra D. Por ejemplo, grab, grabbed. Grab, grabbed. Hawk, hugged. Hugged. Claim, claimed. Claimed. Plan, planned. Planned. Referred, referred. Move, moved. Show, showed. Play, played. Bus, bust, ¿verdad? ¿Está claro? ¿Es clear? Esto solamente es de los re verbos regulares, la terminación de la de ED ending for regular verbs. ¿Es clear? Te lo vuelvo a explicar. ¿Está claro? ¿Claro como la chat? Esta imagen ya la tiene, ya se la mandé aquí. Ok. Ok, Elizabeth de la ONU, no problem. It's ok. Solo con solo que escuche la explicación. Es ok, Elizabeth de la O. No problem. Ok. Take it easy. Relax. Ok. Ok. So you have. Va. Lo que usted se tiene que fijar. Ups. Lo que usted se tiene que fijar es si el verbo termina en T, en D o en una de estas. Esta imagen ya la tiene en el grupo de WhatsApp. 
Si usted sabe que el verbo termina en T o en D, esa ED va a ser I, starting, sí. ending y hay más. Si usted sí. ve que el verbo termina en estas letras, la pronunciación va a ser como una, la ED se va a pronunciar como una, una T. Jumped, jump, jumped, walked, walked, missed, missed, finished, finished. Entonces no tiene que decir jumped, ¿verdad? Jumped, o jumped, o walked, o missed, o finished, no. Es como una extra T. Jumped, walked, missed, finished, watch, laughed. Toda, si no terminen estas letras, o si no terminen estas letras, cae en el segundo grupo que son más, que son un montón de verbos. Son más verbos de este que termina, se pronuncia como D que con estas dos. Entonces por eso le digo, si, si usted se aprende esto que termina en T en D, o esto que termina en estas letras, y si, entonces si usted reconoce que la E se pronuncia en estas dos, el, el resto de los verbos usted va a saber que son estos, ¿verdad? Do you have any question? question o so sea, far? hay más que terminen con el sonido de D sí. que las que terminan en sonido de T. Sí, yes. Y lógicamente las de I D solo son T y D. Ajá, sí, sí. Yes. Yes. Exacto. Pero esto solamente es para la, la pronunciación de la ED para los verbos regulares. Solo para los verbos regulares. Solo para los verbos regulares. Sí, solamente yeah. es para la pronunciación de los verbos re regular verbs, for the regular verbs. Ok, so we are going to continue with the manual. With the manual. Give me a second. Eh, no sé qué pasó aquí, que no me lo carga. Just give me a second. Ok, no sé si te... Bueno, ya le mandé la imagen allí. No sé si tienen alguna consulta, duda, queja. <ríe> If you have a complaint about it. Esperen, que no me quiere cargar el manual. Aquí está. Here we go. Aquí vamos. Ok. So, eh... ¿Les parece bien si dejamos este de tarea para el otro, la otra semana? For Monday. This, 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 what? This exercise in your mano. Quiero ver si es el mismo porque yo tengo. Just let me, give me a second. Give me a second, please. Ok. Ah, sí, es lo mismo, mire. Solo que aquí está un poco más borroso. Ok, so, it's the same. Actually, ah, oh, no. Cambia un poquito, pero en el manual es un poquito más blurry. So, uh, if you want, so, it's about the manual, right? Pero el manual solo es así. It's like, lo pueden ver. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a kind of blurry. Pero, bueno, well, anyway, we are going to use this one because... We're going to use this one because... Uh, what? Because... Uh, is your manual, right? Okay, I'm gonna send the picture, homework. Okay, this one is going to be the homework. What number of the page is this? Page number 45, right? Homework for Monday. Okay, homework, homework for Monday, page 45, right? Your manual, okay. Now, for example, here you have this one. Eh, se ve un poco borroso, ¿verdad? Ok, hagamos esta. Este, este que no se ve tan borroso. Ok, so, uh, so, can you see it? So, you have a, you stay home on Saturday. Now, what is the, si el verbo que tenemos en paréntesis es stay, ese stay es el verbo principal que va a ir aquí, ¿verdad? Ups, va a ir aquí arriba. Va a ir aquí, aquí, aquí. Ok, so, stay. So, ¿cómo quedaría esta pregunta? Porque miren, tiene símbolo de pregunta. ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta? Did you, did you stay? Did you stay home on Saturday? Did you stay home on Saturday? Y recuerde darle acento de tono de pregunta. Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I. ¿Qué creen que iría aquí? No, I. Did you? No, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ajá. Podemos responder con didn't porque la pregunta es cerrada. Es con did, ¿verdad? No, I didn't. 
Sí. Ah, no, espere, espere, no, no es, pero tenemos el verbo call aquí, mire. Ah, no. ¿Podría ir el didn? Sí, podría ir el didn, pero aquí, según el ejercicio, eh, nos está pidiendo que usemos este verbo call aquí. Entonces sería no, no, podría ser no I didn't, yo llamé a mi amigo. Pero en ese caso, no, yo llamé a mi amigo de un solo. Hay este verbo, mi amigo. ¿Sería aquí entonces? Call it. Call Cold. It. Cold. 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 Como, ajá, Cold. Excelente. como termina en L, la pronunciación es como una D. Cold. I call my friend. Y el pasado del verbo drive. El verbo drive que está aquí. Drive, drove. Drive. Drive. Uh -huh. We drove. drove to a cafe for lunch. We drove to a cafe for lunch, right? We drove to a cafe for lunch. Okay, let's let's do. Entonces le queda. Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I called my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Right. Now the number two. How you spend your last birthday is a question. Como es pregunta, eh, qué vamos a <clears throat> qué vamos a qué. Ya no me marca este bolón. Ok. Ah, oh, no, era aquí. Ajá. So, in the number two, what is the, what is the, what is the, if you have a question here? If you have a question, the auxiliary is did, right? Entonces, aquí como queda. How? How did you? How did you spend, verdad? Y spend, eh, ¿lo vamos a poner en pasado o en presente? Lo vamos a poner presente. aquí. Presente. Ah, por el auxiliar did no vamos a usar este sino que vamos a usar este por el did how did you spend your last birthday how did you spend your last birthday I a party esta es eh, qué tipo de oración es pregunta negativa o positiva ¿Mm -hmm? en la B en la 2B positiva negativa qué es Uh -huh. Hello. Positiva. positiva y en positiva el verbo va a ir en el verbo va a ir en en pasado en pasado verdad I have entonces vamos a poner aquí está mire tenemos have y tenemos ups. tenemos este have y tenemos el otro have entonces tenemos aquí se me hizo un gran círculo ahí tenemos este have. Solo quiero marcar uno y se marca todo. Bueno, tenemos este had. Had, 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 right? Entonces, aquí sería had, sería esta. I had, I had a party. Como está la D entre las dos vocales, ha, I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it. Everyone enjoyed it. Este es regular. Mira, aquí está eh, enjoy. No, no, no. RGD, enjoyed it. But the neighbors not like. ¿Cómo sería aquí la negativa? No le gustó el ruido. But the neighbors... ¿Cómo lo ponemos en negativo en pasado? ¿No? Didn't like. Didn't. didn't like the noise, right? But the neighbors didn't like the noise. But the neighbors didn't like the noise. Y así en su manual usted haría este que está aquí, ¿verdad? This one you are going to complete for Monday. You are going to complete in your manuals, right? Ok, ahí está. Eh, we're gonna continue. Ah, me hubiera... Bueno, este después, creo. Quiero ver si tenemos lo mismo aquí. Que es que en el manual se ve un poquito borroso. Now, here you have a, a, this word power course and activities. Quiero ver, ya es que me hace con. Ok, también tenemos el was y el where aquí mismo. Bueno, este lo vamos a hacer quizás en la otra clase. So, find two other words or phrases from the list that usually go with each verb. Entonces, aquí van a poner qué expresiones de estas van con do, van con go, van con have, make, and take. Ok, y vamos a saltarnos aquí a this conversation. Ok, how was your vacation? How was your vacation? Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? 
Not really, it was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Question with this vocabulary? Tiene preguntas con el vocabulary? Questions with the vocabulary? One more questions. No? Okay. So uh, we're going to move to the manual. Uh, en estos ocho minutos, nos vamos a mover al manual. Give me a second. Al manual, al platform. We're going to move to the platform. If you have any question with the platform, so you can ask me, right? Okay, espérame que... Déjeme que esta cosa... Weather is time. Uh, weather? Is is time, tiempo? Uh, weather is, yes, is the climate. Es el clima. Okay. Yes, okay. Ya está aquí está el platform. Okay, let's move on to the platform. Vaya en la plataforma. Eh, le están pidiendo hasta aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si les mandé foto de esto. How long were your parents about the verb to be? Tendríamos que completar para esta semana hasta la sección 2, ¿verdad? No sé si ya lo habíamos hecho con ustedes. Algunas de estos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Sí, me acuerdo que hicimos uno. Sí, solo el, el último creo que nos hacía falta. Ah, ok, vamos a ver. Let's check it out. Que lo okay. realizáramos en la clase. The two point, este, el listening, este. San Francisco, yes, con, yes, este. ¿O no? Sí, sí, ese que este, yo creo que la mayoría estábamos poniendo respuestas largas y son respuestas muy cortas. Sí, son respuestas muy cortas, es cierto. Eh, en realidad, eh, bueno, por ejemplo, aquí, mire, look at this. Aquí era, he went to San Francisco o San Francisco. Aquí en la 1, where did Jason go? ¿A dónde fue Jason? Ok, el go va en presente por el auxiliar did. San Francisco o... He went to San Francisco. O sea que se podía poner solo San Francisco o la versión larga, he went to San Francisco. ¿Y es Roberto? Eh, con, re con respecto a eso, yo probé la segunda opción, he went to San Francisco. Uh -huh. Según me decía que no era correcto. No tenía espacios en blanco, tenía el punto final. Eso y no sé si usted lo puede probar ahorita para saber a si... A mí tampoco me la aceptó. No, no lo aceptó, solo la respuesta... Ok, vamos Exacto. a ver. He went to San Francisco. Y puso las mayúsculas de... Sí, de respetando lo que es la ciudad y todo. Ah, mira, Ahí, mira, San Francisco. No está correcto. Es cierto, y siento no que la sé. mayoría, la mayoría, o sea, tuvimos ese error por el simple hecho de que la indicación decía, intente dar respuestas largas. Ok, vamos a ver aquí, porque el punto no le había puesto, mira. Vamos a ver ahora. No, no me la sé. Fíjese que no, no la agarra la... He went to San Francisco. Solo es San Francisco. Ajá. Sí, no, es que según la respuesta esta, tendría que, ser, tendría que aceptar he went to San Francisco, es, es verdad. Ok. Ok, pero bueno. Ah, ah, unas veces, mire, porque ahorita le he puesto San Francisco, ah, pero por el punto quizás no me la acepta. Vamos a, ahí está. Eh, a veces esto es bien metódico, porque... Eh, si usted le puede dejar el punto o no le pone el punto, no le pone las la mayúsculas, a veces no se la acepta. Entonces, eh, por eso yo se los compartí y también los compañeros lo compartieron, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, pero esta que decir que, que no acepta, he went to San Francisco, eh, sí está, tendría que estar malo, ¿verdad? O sea, porque tendría que aceptar, porque dice San Francisco, it says San Francisco or he went to San Francisco, pero son cosas de de la plataforma, de allí did he enjoy it, él lo disfrutó el verbo está en presente por el did, yes o yes según esto dice yes or yes, or yes he did o yes he did, right ajá, yes he did vamos a ver, tal vez lo acepta aunque no sé si no me lo está aceptando porque ya lo hice también, no sé pero bueno, vamos a ver ah sí, este sí lo acepta, mire yes he did en vez de solo yes. ¿Por qué? Porque es una pregunta eh, cerrada con el did. Entonces puede responder yes, he did. ¿Él disfrutó eso? ¿Él lo disfrutó? Sí, él, él lo disfrutó. Yes, he did. 
Este did absorbe el significado de enjoy. ¿Verdad? Eh, where did Barbara go? Vamos a ver. ¿A dónde fue Barbara? Home o, o she stay home. También dice que es aceptable. She stay home o home. Cualquiera de las dos. Y dice home con H mayúscula o con H minúscula. Dice. Eh, did she enjoy it? Did she enjoy it? Yes. O oh, yes, she did. Oh, yes, she did, ¿verdad? Oh, yes, she did. Ok, ¿tenían alguna otra pregunta con la plataforma? More questions with the points in the platform or no questions? No questions. Ok. Entonces, para las personas que todavía no han terminado la plataforma, please, eh, try to complete it. The platform. Sí, yo sé que algunas veces cuesta un poquito en la plataforma, pero eh, tratemos. Si usted tiene alguna duda, pues me pregunto. Ok, so, ya le tomé captura de pantalla para las personas. Ok, see you the next, see you Monday, right? Have a good night. Bye-bye, take care. Good night. Bye. Good night, bye-bye, take care. Bye.